Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to share my work in IEA World Congress during current special pandemic period. Today, my talk is about a theory of confidant. This paper is co-worked with Professor Cho Jiahua from SIPS. And uh, in real world, we can observe two kinds of corruption. The first is the official's corruption as a self-interested official abuses the public power. Well, the traditional discussion of corruption focuses on this situation. The second is corruption of the official's confidant. And the bribe favors the confidant as a confidant's ability to influence the decision-making process. In real world, we can see many examples about the confidence corruption. For example, in the 2016, the South Korea political scandal that the South Korea President Park's friend, Choi Sun Seo's influence on the president's daily work. And beyond this example, we can also see many other examples of the confident corruption. And in traditional wisdom, the confidence corruption is treated as a byproduct of the self-interested officials corruption behavior. However, in our work, we want to ask if the public official is benevolent, will the confidence corruption phenomena disappear or still exist? Some work like Banachi, Asimoglu and the video discuss why benevolent official tolerates the corruption behavior. Well, our work tries to explore whether the benevolent official's social maximization motivation to be a source of the confidence corruption or not. Our work shows that the confidence corruption could be induced by the benevolent official's social maximization behavior surprisingly. Furthermore, given the confidence corruption induced by the official's benevolent motivation, What's the welfare implication of the confidence corruption? The social welfare will be better or worse off. And we hope today's talk can help us obtain deeper understanding about the corruption behavior as a corresponding mechanism in the real world. Let's start our model from a perfect world. Let's consider an environment with infinite periods and in every period, there is an incumbent governor G, and the G will choose one initiative from a mass one initiative pool, which the G has no information. And the selected initiatives will be completed in one period and generate the corresponding social welfare W. We assume that the governor only cares about the social welfare W. And we also assume that there is a governor pool with infinite benevolent governor. So if current period governor is replaced by another governor in future, the future governor, the new governor in future is still benevolent. Every initiative will deliver a financial return F to certain private beneficiary P. And in every period, there is a sales N of the private beneficiaries belonging to the private network of governors confident C. And in every period, the governor will hear a recommendation from the confidant. And the confidant will recommend the initiatives which has been paid bribery from certain private beneficiaries. And we also assume that every private beneficiary faces a cash constraint with beta. And the beta is less than the initiative financial gain F. And so every private beneficiary has some incentive to pay bribery to induce his, the initiative can be implemented. 
the implementation of the select initiative will impact the governor's likelihood of remaining in office in future. The, the governor's likelihood to remain in office is denoted by the parameter pi. Note that the confidence ability to collect money comes from the confidence influence to the governor's decision-making process. So the confidence is attached to the governor's career. Hence, the confidant will try to maximize the long-term bribery collection in the information recommendation process. And the confidant will discover the pie of every initiative when the initiative is paid, has been paid bribery. Among all initiatives, there is unique star project where the governor's continuation likelihood is a pie star. And, the, and this star project, this unique star project can produce social welfare plus one with probability W star and the through welfare negative one with probability one minus W star. And the W star is larger than half. So the uh, star project can generate the positive expected social welfare from the ex ante perspective. And uh, all of other initiatives can only generate the social welfare zero and guarantee the governors to remain in office with, with probability pi zero, and the pi zero is less than pi star. So the star project is better than other random projects from the two dimensions. First dimension, the star project can help the governor to remain in office with higher probability. The second dimension, the star project can generate higher social welfare compared to other random projects. From the confidence perspective, the star project is always better than other random projects. So the confidant will always propose the star project if, if the, the star project is available from the bribers. And uh, based on the previous discussion, we can observe that. So, the confidant and the governor have the different objectives. So the confidant only cares about the bribery and the governor only cares about the social welfare. However, the interest of the confidant and the governor is correlated. The governor hopes to obtain the high quality information from the confidant. Well, the confidant also hopes that the governor can continue in office with higher probability to help the confidant to collect more bribery in future. And uh, we can see the correlation, the interest of correlation between C and G increases as the private network of the confidence says is larger and larger. The larger private network says of the confidant use, the more Bribery, pay bribery to the confidant. The confidant has a higher probability to propose a star project. And the, the star project discover will benefit both confidant and the governor. Now let's ask one question. The existence of the confidant will be helpful to the social welfare or hurt the social welfare. Firstly, let's see this, this figure. Uh, one benchmark case as a, if the governor completes the decision making by himself alone, and in this situation, as a governor has no available information about the initiatives and the governor will pick the project, the initiative randomly, and the expected through welfare will always be zero. And the, Given this situation as a benchmark, we can see if the, there is an additional confidant help the governor do the decision. And in this situation, the existence of the additional confidant will be helpful to improve the social welfare. 
the confidence rule will be positive. Well, this setup may be not close to the real world. In the real world, the, the governor is, is not always do the decision by himself. And so we consider a benchmark with closer to the real world. And uh, we consider this situation. The governor will make the decision under the help of the bureaucracy B. Taking this situation as a benchmark, we consider in this situation, the existence of the additional confidence will be helpful or hurt the social welfare. And then let's see the role of the bureaucracy. The bureaucracy can always identify a large initiative with probability almost one. The large initiative can produce social welfare plus one with probability WL and the social welfare negative one with probability one minus WL. The bureaucracy can also obtain certain political benefit from the implementation of certain initiative. We assume that the bureaucracy can obtain the political benefit of positive one from the large project and the V star, which is less one benefit, but the positive benefit from the star project and the zero from all other random projects. So the bureaucracy's preference order will be as a following. The large project is better than the star project. And the star project is better than other projects. And we also assume that the WL is larger than W star. So the large project is more efficient than the star project from the ex ante perspective. Here we have a small remark. Different from the confidant, the bureaucracy is not attached to G. The bureaucracy's position is independent of the governor's continuation or not. And so suppose the governor to complete the decision under the help of the bureaucracy, the expected social welfare will be two times WL minus one. Suppose there's an additional confidant. And uh, we assume that the additional confidant has more information. Uh, what's the meaning of the more information? Suppose the bureaucracy's proposal is a bad project. The confidant can observe a hard evidence with probability one. And uh, so in, in this situation, in the, during the decision-making process, the confidant has a more choices in the, in the following situations. In the decision-making process, after observing the bureaucracy's recommendation, if the confidant observes the hard evidence, the confidant can bad months about B's proposal with probability one. And even the confidant does not observe the hard evidence about B's proposal. C can also bad months about B's proposal with probability Q. We assume that the large project and the star project are positively correlated as they share some similar fundamentals. So after listening to the C's bad months about B, the governor will have a bad impression on both B and C's proposal. And then the governor will ignore both B and C's proposal and pick the initiatives randomly from other initiatives. And so we can see when confident sabotage B's proposal, the governor will also ignore C's proposal. However, when governor picks the initiatives randomly, 
there's still probability n that one initiative from a confidence private network can be selected from the governor. And in this situation, confidence still can obtain the bribery with probability n. Well, the bees benefit from the random project is just a zero. As, as we assume that the bees, the, the bureaucrats preference order is that the large project is better than star project and the star project is better than the random project. So from the bureaucracy's perspective, when confident private network is large enough and the star project is available to confident with high probability, given the dangerous that the C may sabotage B's proposal. And the B has incentive to withhold the information accidentally. And so the existence of additional C may depress the B's information disclosure incentive. And uh, furthermore, we want to know the social welfare influence from the additional confidence existence. And we can see the existence of, of, of C will crowd out B's information disclosure. And B will make keep silence as, as a C's potential sabotage behavior. And what's the social welfare result compared to the benchmark case without additional confidence. And the main findings can be summarized in this figure. In this figure, we can see the red line represented the benchmark case social welfare without the additional confidence influence. And the corresponding social welfare is two times WL minus one. And the black line represents the social welfare change uh, as the confidence private network says change. Based on this figure, our findings can be summarized by the following points. Firstly, we can see that compared to the benchmark case without the confidence, the existence of additional C induces social welfare weakly worse off as the existence of C may induce the base information withholding. Secondly, we can see the, when the additional confidence exists, the social welfare change is nine more tone over the confidence private network change. The reason is that on the one hand, as the confidence private network increases, the B has stronger incentive to keep silence to withhold the information. And this behavior will hurt the social welfare. On, a, on the other hand, as the confidence private network increases, the confidant has a larger probability to discover the star project. The likelihood of the star project discover will improve the social welfare. And so the two effects have a different direction influence on the social welfare. And that's why the social welfare is nine more tone over the uh, confidence network size change. And thirdly, we can see the project beneficiaries belief is important. And the multiple equilibrium may emerge depends on the different project beneficiaries belief. Suppose every project beneficiary believes the paying bribery is very important. And then the equilibrium that everyone pay bribery in the confidence private network will emerge. Well, suppose every 
project beneficiary thinks that paying bribery is not so important. And the honest equilibrium that no one pay bribery equilibrium will, will emerge. And the fourth observation is that in traditional opinion, the bribery is always plays a role of the greatest money, which means that I pay bribery to the confidant and just to facilitate my project can be adopted and implemented. This means, this means bribery plays a role of great money. Well, different from this traditional wisdom, our work shows another possible role of the bribery. In our model, the bribery plays a role of the sabotage money. The confidant receives the money from the bribery and the, the confidant tries to sabotage the bureaucracy's proposal and creates the opportunity for the bribery's project uh, initiative to be selected by the governor. And the last observation is that selfless governor may hurt the solar welfare. Suppose the governor is lazy and uh, only cares about the bureaucracy's proposal. The society may be better off compared to the uh, situation with the additional confidence. Only when the governor is more benevolent and the governor wants to collect more information to improve the decision-making quality. And in this situation, the governor has stronger incentive to hear the recommendation from the additional information from the uh, confidant. And in, in this situation, though the governor's motivation, initial motivation is good. However, eventually, the governor's selfless and benevolent behavior hurt the social welfare. Based on this discussion, we can see the policy implication is also clear. And uh, we can see that discipline the governor's behavior will be useful to improve the social welfare. Suppose how to, how to discipline the governor's Behavior. Suppose we can we can imagine that if the governor can commit to hear the hard evidence from the confident, what's the meaning of the uh, commit to hear the hard evidence? This this means that when the confident bad minds about a big proposal, the confident has to show the verifiable hard evidence. And the counter cannot do the cheap talk about the bid proposal. And in this situation, the, 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 the governor, when the governor hears about the uh, this information about the bid proposal, the information will be sure without any cheap talk. And if this regulation is feasible, we can see the C's sabotage rule will be mitigated. And uh, when the C only provides the information with hard evidence, the role of the confidant in the decision-making process will be very constructive. And uh, the, the confidant will play a role of check and balance to verify, to verify B's pro proposal. And in this situation, the, if this regulation is feasible, the social welfare will be strictly better off. Now, I will do a simple summarize about today's discussion. We know the objective of a government with well governance is to improve the people's well-being. And uh, for a benevolent government, the people's voice, the people's demand is very important in the decision-making process. And so the government has, the benevolent government has the incentive to collect more information from the people to improve the 
decision making quality. And our model shows a very interesting phenomenon. So the benevolent governor hopes to collect more information. And the governor, so the governor tries to heard the recommendation from the confident. However, eventually, the benevolent motivation eventually induces uh, social welfare laws exposed. And uh, the main implication of our talk is that the disciplining, the governor's information collection process is very important. Suppose the governor can build up an institutional channel for the voice collection process to justify the, the decision-making process. This will be better for the society, for the decision-making. Furthermore, how to build up this feasible institutional channel? This will be an open question for the future research, and we will consider this problem uh, in, in, in the future research. Thanks very much. Thanks for your listening. Yeah, that's all. Bye-bye.